Welcome back everybody on the VST channel that has this tech. I have the S21 here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make it yours. You can pretty much see what I have on the screen and it does not really look like the standard One UI whatsoever. If you want to get a similar setup like I did, something very practical, very simplistic and minimalistic with a focus on what you really need, right, without too many clutter, without too complex plugins, just by modifying one simple thing, you're more than welcome to watch this full video. In this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how I was able to achieve that one only by using one launcher. This is the lawn chair, right? Launcher, lawn chair, right? I'm using the lawn chair and I'm gonna show you what settings do I use in the latest alpha lawn chair to really get this setup. And I can tell you guys, I'm using this a few days and it is really incredible. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why. And I'm also going to teach you how you can get the same look, of course, if you're keen. So buckle up and let's get started. Before I start with the technicalities, I wanna give you a tour of why I think this is really incredible. And of course, I'm gonna start with something that everybody uses and this is indeed the notifications. I'm sending myself one short notification. Hey, how are you? I get it on the screen, very neat. I just have the clock here. I have the notification also with the emote icon. I know who sent it, what is the channel because I see the icon here and I have also the weather in Celsius. Nothing more, nothing less. It does really look like a lock screen, but don't get yourself fooled. I'm just gonna show you something guys, double tap. Now my phone is locked, okay? I wanna wake it up. This here is actually the standard One UI 3.1 lock screen. And when I enter my phone, you're gonna see that I still keep this very simplistic and uncluttered minimalistic look. And this is what I really love about it. You get the time here, you get a notification, you get all the important information, and it's all on one screen. But this is not really all. I wanna show you something else. You might see here, right, that something is quite different. And I'm gonna show you later why, but right now I just have these icons, and you can see I have the icon here for YouTube, right, but don't get yourself fooled. Just look what happens when I press it once, I'm gonna open the standard YouTube, all right? What happens though if I want to access some other folders because this is actually a folder, guys. It's not an icon. I know you don't believe me, but just see what happens when I swipe up, boom. And I'm gonna get access to all my icons into this folder. If I wanna go into the chat, I just hit here and boom, I'm directly here. Now when I go back, the notification is gone and I can see that I have been playing something on the background. Very nice, very minimalistic and also very informative. So let's say I wanna go into the Spotify, I wanna change the track, right? You can see here, immediately shown and also more i can click here and i will enter spotify and if i'm gonna get another notification this will happen all right just see i'm just playing my music here somebody's writing me boom hey how are you i am getting the notification and this is really what i do love about it it does look really stunning when i go on the right i'll have some other icons when i go on the left i'm gonna get access to my favorite google feed in actually everything in one single piece some might ask me, hey, VST, where are your icons? Okay, easy, just wipe up, and you're gonna get this beautiful transition effect, transparent settings, very distinctive white color of the fonts, and just see something, guys, here. I have the full name of all the icons I've been using. There are no shortcuts, you can see the full name, and you know that it's not the same story with all the launchers right there, right? Very nice, transparent background, all my applications in one place, the time, the notifications, the media controls, no big status bar here, just very uncluttered and very easy to use. All right, so this is kind of the demonstration, guys. If you wanna see how you can achieve this, then make sure to watch the rest of the video. If that's not your thing, then we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. But for those that decide to stay on the video, guys, I'm gonna show you where to go, what to download, how to set it up, what plugins do you need, and I'll promise it's gonna be very, very simple. The first step is to download the latest launcher. Now I'm gonna put the link down below into the video description. I'm using the version launcher 10 alpha 8 and of course it's an alpha and of course there might be some issues, but if you are scared, then never try it. After you've downloaded the launcher 10 alpha, make sure that you install it, right? There's something else, but we're gonna get to that later. And now it's time to set the launcher as your default launcher. Now, how does this work? And in the meantime, guys, you see, I just received a notification. Very nice and I would say very simplistic, right? So this was in real time. Now to set it up as your default launcher, you're gonna go here into the settings, then click on the search here and just search for applications, all right? This is very important, top hits three, 
click here on the first apps and here inside you're gonna get something called choose default apps. This is standard One UI Samsung things. Click here on choose default apps. Inside on home app, click and then choose launcher, all right? Very important, you need to set the launcher as your default launcher, right? Of course, if you don't like it, you can always go back to the One UI home launcher, so it will not really replace it. Now, if you want to clear notifications, very easy guys, you can just do like this, swipe up, and then clear everything, and then you're gonna get the lasting plate on your phone. Now, when you've installed Launcher, we need to set up some things, so follow me very closely. How can we do this? Very easy. Press and hold, go here to Home Setup, and you're gonna be presented with everything from Launcher, all the settings, so we have Team, we have the Home Screen, at Glance Dock. I'm gonna give you guys all the most important settings to really achieve the same look that I have. So apparently, from Theme, you can use the system icons like I did. You can also go and download more icons. I'm just gonna show you something. Let's say I downloaded the viral icons, okay? Viral, you see, right now I changed the icons so quick, so easy. I'm gonna show you the Google ones. I'm gonna show also the social ones. It's very easy if you want to change your icons, you can do it from here. Gonna go back again. It is very easy for you to change the system icons and I just wanted to demonstrate that. Going back to home setting and I'm gonna choose again system icons. It's going to refresh very quickly and now boom, having the system icons. All right, so here inside, one step back, you can change the icon packs, you can change the icon shape. So let's say that you don't like that one, you can go and you can change a square one. It's very easy, it's very customizable, no advanced skills needed. So go back to home settings. I'm just gonna go back to the set by system because I do prefer. And I'm keeping also the blur intensity to 51. Those are the settings I keep here. I'm gonna show you what happens if I remove the blur page backgrounds. Pretty much see for yourself. I turn it on, it's really nice, transparent, all right. Going back to the settings, and we have right now the home screen settings, icon grid, I am choosing here five by five, but you can see plenty of options. You can go up to 19 to 19, it's really crazy the things you can do. I keep five by five, allow overlaps, no, allow empty pages, no, lock home screen, no, shortcuts. You can also hide the labels, let me just show you. If I decide to hide the labels, all the labels here are gonna be gone, all right? But I am not doing this, also the labels here are gone. So I'm just showing you all the options. I prefer to have my labels on. Okay, multi-line labels, I'm not enabling this one for now. Text size 100%, icon size 100%. Add new apps to home screen, it's very important to keep this on every time you install a new application, it's gonna get added to the home screen. App launch default transition, I keep it to on. Notification dots on, this is very, very important guys. Go inside and make sure that you grant notification access to the launcher applications, else most of the things are not gonna work. Show notification count on, enable rotation if you like it now. Right now, I just don't have rotation because I don't like it. But hey, if you wanna get it, then of course you can set up, enable rotation, just wanna show you, enable it just like that. Go back on the home screen, and then you can have like one of the best features that is anyway presented into one way. Center wallpaper, I have it as off. Height status bar, very important. This, I have it as on. Let me just show you why. If I put it on, guys, then I see here the clock, I have the battery and, and the Wi-Fi information and the SIM card information, and I don't want to really get this one. I want to go with this minimalistic look that I showed in the beginning, as simple as that, all right? Because every time I want to see something, I can always swipe up and see, all right? So you need to see your battery, you need to see the Wi-Fi, or mobile connection, do like this and you will have access to it. High status bar on, white widgets off, show top shadow on, and this is the last setting we have into the home screen. Any glance should be familiar for the people using pixel devices. If you are not familiar, I'm gonna help you set it up. We have to go inside, click at a glance, and actually this is modifying everything that you see on your screen. Now I've enabled show date, show time, show large clock. Let me just show, if I remove large clock, then the clock is gonna be integrated here. I wanna go with show large clock. Use 24 format, very important. If you're a fan of the search period, you can also go for that look. Not in my case. Now, very important guys, you need to go to other and data sources and select the things I did, notifications, now playing and Google app into the exact same order. If you wanna have, let's say the calendar events, you can also do it like this and then press save. And when you go back to the home screen, this is the very clear, neat, simplified and minimalistic look that you're gonna get. At a glance, this was it. One step back and now we have the dock. And you know, this is very, very easy because the only setting that I'm using for the dock is actually switching it off. But because I know that you're gonna wonder what is the dock, I'm going to enable it, right? So right now, dock enabled, boom. Now I have tweaked the dock settings to get this blurry background and also the right size. So of course, I'm gonna show what I did here. I'm gonna go back to home settings, 
Now, if you decide to use the dock, those are the settings that you can take from my preset. Show background on, background team, use the one set by team, show shadow on, then I have the corner radius to ATDP, opacity auto, right, you can play with this, but always the best, dock size also auto, show page indicator, icon count five, and hide labels. If you want to play with the dock, you can also re-enable the search bar and then you're going to have something like this. Now, I'm not a fan of this, but if you are, you can definitely use it. So in my settings, there is only one option for the dock and I told you I just disabled the dock to really get this very nice and simplistic look. Now, don't skip. There are more settings. Going back into the settings, all right. The next thing we need to set is the up drawer, all right? And this is very, very important. Here, I did a lot of settings. First thing, set opacity to 3%, background color set by team, icon size 100%, column count 5%, row height, this is very important, set the row height to 70%. Then use multi-line labels, text size 110, and for the text color, go here to custom and choose the white color. This is very easy, you have to drag the RGB sliders to the right, okay? If you don't like the white color, of course, you can use something else. Then a search bar, show search bar, but don't use the global search. And I'm going to show you why. Up suggestions on, show all apps label on, and second tab for workups. And then this is what you're going to get, right? Setting the raw height to 70% is going to get you this. Else, the grid is very big and you have to scroll like crazy. Of course, you can play and you can adjust it up to your own taste. But this is really what works best for me. And I like, of course, this 3% opacity. This transparent background is really stunning and I do love it. All right, so more to go. Going back into the home settings, right? There is something called the plugins and plugins is actually very important, guys, because if you want to get the Google feed, then you need to download the Lone feed plugin. Now, Google application, if you try to turn this on, you're going to get a message. Hey, download Google feed. Once you download the Lone feed, just press install like this. Okay, just once. Enable the toggle here, and then when you're on the home screen, just a magical swipe to the left, and you're gonna get Google Fit. This is really very, very good. And I know this actually is a nice option for people that don't have the latest One UI. So if you're running an old One UI and you only have Samsung free, then you might want to consider using Launcher because then you're gonna get Google Fit integrated, all right? Very nice thing to do. But we're not done yet. There are more things, guys. Let me just show you. Let's go back to the settings, okay, home settings. Then we have gestures. And now take a look. You know that the double tap is putting the phone to sleep and this was one of the most requested feature in One UI 3.1. And of course we have it here and it works, but just see how many more gestures we have. I'm just gonna click, all right, boom. You can do practically anything. Sleep, sleep using screen timeout. You can open the up drawer. Let me just actually show you guys what happened now when I do double tap. App drawer, all right? This is really fantastic. There are really so many options, almost unlimited. Open widget drawer, open the launcher settings, launch app search, open notification panel, even open Google Fit. Let me just show you guys. You wanna open the Google Fit, double tap somewhere, and now we have the Google Fit. But this is not all, guys. I wanna show you something that I showed you into the demo. You know that I have the Telegram icon here, and when I open it, I'm gonna go into the Telegram. But you also know from the demo that when I swipe up like this, actually, it's a folder, and all my icons are gonna get revealed. Now, let me show you how you can use this. It's called the cover mode. When you swipe up like this, and you press the three dots here, right? You have something called the cover mode. It will always open the first application in the folder. So let's say I want to change them and I want to put Viber around. If I put the Viber here, right? And I go back to the three dots and I use the cover mode. Now the first application to be open is going to be apparently Viber. And this is really a very nice functionality. See what happens when I hold the icon here. It really gives you the idea of only using one icon, but in fact is a whole folder. But you know, like people used to say in the advertisement, it doesn't really stop here, right? Let me just show you why. If you decide to not use the cover mode, then you have an action on swipe up. Swipe up, and I hope you really see that. If I go here, boom. You have thousands of things you can do with your phone. Let me just show you something. Voice search, okay? Now, every time I hear a nice song, I can just swipe up here, and I'm gonna get direct to this menu, right? So really unlimited options. And for everybody that made it up to this point, I'm gonna give some bonus content. Now you might already have recognized that this is not the original phone icon from the One UI, and that's true. I'm using here the Google Dialer, and indeed it feels really like not using a Samsung phone at all. And I also installed 
the Google messages, right? So if you want to take your customization one step next, I'm going to give guys the link to the Google Dialer into the video and also the Google messages and you can play with those settings. For now, I'm giving you this. I really hope that you have liked this video. My phone is very happy with the long chair settings. Guys, please stay safe, stay healthy, you and your families. We're going to catch up in one of my next videos. If you have some questions, hit me into the comments down below or come join our Telegram channel. And with that said, VST over and bye.